Clementine. Baby. Baby. It was hard to not name the tractor Clementine when it has its own song. Oh my darling, oh my darling Clementine. This literally just keeps happening. We get ready and then we get to work and it's raining. for you, camera. No, pack. Pack? It's for them. And the camera. Watching, they are the camera. Oh my darling. Oh my darling. Oh my darling Clementine. If you know, you know. How you make my life easier and save my back. Just in time. Actually just. Just almost in time. <laughs> Our tractor broke a few weeks ago as the hydraulic line started spurting hydraulic fluid. The hydraulic line has come loose. We had to wait a little bit to get our lines in, and now we're ready to fix Clementine. Because Clementine is probably the most helpful tool at our homestead. And now that we have Clementine, we do not want to do anything without Harry. About a month ago, our sweet, sweet tractor, Clementine, joined the family. After almost two years transforming this abandoned cabin in the woods, using mostly our own muscles and two feet, our bodies are feeling it. Not okay? No. This machine is a back saver, and with all the upcoming renovations on the land, we need her in tip-top shape. Tractor wives, back at it again. I should also mention, this is our first time doing any maintenance or hose replacements on our tractor. Bear with us, learn with us, it shall be fun. We have two hydraulic lines to fix. The one hydraulic line goes from this, which is like where it tells it how to move, and the other one we need to replace is down there with all the coverings. And the reason it has the coverings on, I just learned this, is so it doesn't spray you with hydraulic fluid in the face. Thank God. Ow. She's a tractor mechanic. Oh gosh, talking about yourself? All right, there she is. There's her heart. Not really. Oh, but heart surgery, <laughs> Meredith Gray! What do they say? Oh. We know where the leak is, but we want to follow the line back to the heart and make sure that, one, we have the right hose. I think they're wrong. Crystal thinks they're I'm right. I'm pretty sure it's gonna fit, but we'll see. I don't think they ordered the right one personally, but. If you look at this diagram, yeah, we got 150, right? That's what we got? Mm -hmm. How do I tell? This is 160. I knew it wasn't right when I looked at it in the store. This is the line, right? This one? No, dog. We bought two. Yeah, one, two. No, they're completely different sizes. Look how little this is, man. There's no way that's a hose. And it connects here and it ends there. So we don't need, it's not the length of this. Where's this one going? Yeah, this go. one, you go up there. He has to be wanting to replace both of them, the line. No, no, no. Then why both. do we have two hoses? This big hose connects it's here the big guy. and ends there, small and short. Oh, they gave us the two hoses that are in here. Correct. What we need to do first is drain the hydraulic fluid from the drain pipe so we don't get hydraulic fluid everywhere. Is there still hydraulic fluid in it? Tiny bit, you know. Okay, so yeah. Enough that it's gonna go in our garden. Empty it. Oh my garden. Oh my garden. Okay. Like every project on the homestead, time to get certified on YouTube University. Nice classroom, lady. All right, let's do it. Do what? What are we doing? What are we doing? Getting a dog. For some reason, I keep calling Crystal dog, so. Spam comments, Wait. dog. And duck. And duck, funny duck, <laughs> dog. I think it's because all I do is talk to my dogs out here in the woods, so now she's got the same name as them. Dog. Cool. Here's my dog. Cool all right, y'all. I'm looking for that nut. Let's hope. We unscrew the right one. Okay, that's there. For sure? This tractor does look a little different. I found it. Hi. Hi. I think it's here. Yeah. One here. That's oil. And then one Oh, right here. there, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm so claustrophobic, like I actually. It's tight. Okay, okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. I probably look exhausted. That's because I am. I just spent the last hour underneath the tractor 
and in the manual and my phone and watching videos and researching how to drain transmission fluid from the B26 Kubota tractor. <laughs> the transmission fluid and the hydraulic fluid are the same. Who would have known? Doesn't work like that in my van. So now we know. And if you know, you know, and now we know I'm going loopy. <laughs> Okay. This is how tight it is. You can hardly get your two shoulders under this axle thing here. Like I can't even it. Anyway, I have my little diagram from the manual O'Neill. And I want to make sure that this is absolutely it. Because if you could even imagine that it wasn't for a second, that would Guess be... What? Horrible! This looks like it, like I'm pretty confident. It's just, it's, it looks so different sometimes. Just have confidence and... Yeah. Who okay. cares? Let's just do it. Okay. Cool, right. confident, and collective. The three C's. Do you want to make sure? Nah, I'm, I'm done making sure. This has been a long time coming now. Oh my god. It's gonna be tough. Damn. I think this will be better because of all the points on it, Chris. Where are you? I don't even think that's it. Where's my phone? Oh my god! It's so hard. Oh my god. Every time. The bolts are oh. just... Oh, I got it! Oh! Yeah, girl! That's my girl! That's my dog! That's my good dog! Can you just stop calling me that now? <laughs> and, like, be normal for a second? I like calling you Doug. Yeah, I love it. But you take a photo? <laughs> I saw your photo session on my phone. I take photos of everything nowadays. So follow us on Instagram. Is food coming up? I got the O-ring, baby! When's it gonna pour? As soon as I can get it out, girl, I'm still oh spinning it. Oh gosh. I know, hold my camera so hard, eh? <laughs> yeah. Come on, buddy. I wonder how much fluid's actually gonna fly out of here. Is this really it? Like, I'm starting to believe this isn't it. I'm gonna do this now, yeah. I don't know if this is. I don't know if this is it, babe. This isn't looking like a drain. What do you mean? I actually don't think this is the right one. You're lying. I'm not lying. I don't think this is it at all. You... Unless there's just no hydraulic fluid, which the reservoir says there's nothing. This can't be it. This is wrong. This doesn't look like a plug. No, 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 it's not. What the f is going on? Back to square one. Figuring out what one it is. No one knows. It was a fail. No. You undid the wrong one. Did because you learn? Well, maybe, but what I did- No, was... don't be stubborn there, Leo. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well I found it. So I'm gonna undo another one. Oh my god, but it's gonna be even harder because it's like so much in there. You got it? I got it! That was quick. That makes more sense because it... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just talking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got it. And this makes more sense because obviously... Like that other one looked like it had never come off. <laughs> And that simply doesn't make sense. Okay, yeah, well you learned. And now you know how to take bolts off quicker. Look how fast that went. Good job, girl. This is absolutely hilarious. Justin's listening to this video and this person's like, yeah, if, you, if you're just looking at the manual, it's so hard to see where they're saying it is. If you look in the manual, it is so strange where they're saying that plug is. I was looking everywhere from under the filter and whatever, mm -hmm. but it is right here. I think we got it, but first, not only does Clementine need her fluids, so do we. Not only is Bottle Bottle everything the competitor is and more, but it also comes at a more economical price. These things are absolutely rugged. We take them on the back trails in the UTV and they're the only thing that survives my driving. Our bottle came in clutch. <laughs> These are BPA free, dishwasher safe, double wall stainless steel insulated bottles and they have a handle for carrying which I love so much when I'm walking around outside, as well as the dual design lid where you can open up and drink from here or you can use a straw. The best part is, is the bottom turns off and you can store your pills, supplements, powders, tea bags, anything in here. What we use it for is we take this little square out, put some water in here for Bella and Izzy to drink from. It's the best. This is glued to my hip at all times. You've probably seen it in the back of every video since I got it. It's all I need. Yeah, I love my bottle bottle. If you'd like a bottle bottle for yourself, 
15% off using code VANWIVES15. Click the link in the description. Stay hydrated, babies. Glad we're not the only one having a problem finding it. Wow. I was tugging on something for a long time that was not what I needed to be tugging on. Oh, you know, wrong screw again. <laughs> oh shit, there she goes. Hiya, bud. We did it! <laughs> Round two. This is the plug. That looks like a plug, all right. And there's three screws that look so similar side by side and the photo makes it look like... It's not that one. So we took out two before we got to this one. <laughs> and one of the funniest parts about it all is the plug that you need to take out is the hardest one to get at. There's three and it's the middle one, obviously. Is that what mechanics do on the job? This is what you're paying for. Is it because it's exhausting? Get it? <laughs> well, that didn't go quite as planned, but we got it. Regular maintenance on Clementine will be really important. Tractor puns may be tiresome, but they never get flat. Well, everyone, <laughs> it was a smashing success. Took a while, but we got all the hydraulic fluid out of Clementine. And now we can start working away at the lines and it actually is very dirty. Told you, girl. You're right. Told you. It looked you. very nice and golden coming out, but it's very dirty. And this is awesome because we are going to do a full maintenance on Clementine and that way we know as the new proud owners of a tractor that it's How going old? to be done today on this date with this many hours and we're gonna keep up with it as often as we need to. And hopefully we don't have to do it through winter. That's my goal. We got a nice summer July day. LOL, summer. Replacing a hose. Hopefully we have the right hose. You're very unoptimistic. The ends just don't look the same, man. Jasmine just took off one end of the long hose and now she's working on the second end. Hopefully we'll be able to maneuver the hose out of place and then put the new one in carefully. And we will do the same thing again with a smaller hose. A small Still oh. crossing our fingers that it's going to fit. Okay, so, ta-da! This is the hose that was leaking, right? Is it the same length as a new hose? Same length? But the heads! Don't celebrate your I know they're shirt. different. I already told you they're different. If they go on the ends, this is going to be fabulous. If it doesn't, hmm, back to the local tractor store we go. Number one is a success! I might need your hands on this one. We're getting it though. It's a bunch of mechanics. This yeah. is raining. I would love to change the angle. But it's raining and we have you under an umbrella. So this is what you get. Now it's pouring. It's pouring! The other camera! We just got our first line on successfully. And it's beautiful. It fits well. Do we need to do the second one? It's not leaking yet. I kind of want to ride in my tractor a bit. 100%. I think that's a good idea. Hold on to that hose until we need it. Let's do the full uh, maintenance now, test it. If it's leaking from that hose, which I don't think it was, it was leaking from this hose, then we'll change it. Proud. How do you feel? A true mechanic. <laughs> Honestly though, I actually think it's super important we know how to do these things when, when you own a tractor. Like, you can't not know how to do your own maintenance. Especially maintenance, especially so far out here. Yeah. I was, can you imagine driving our tractor an we don't, hour? We can't even. We don't have a trailer, lady. But imagine trying to get, like, getting them, to, lining it up to pick it up an hour and 45 to come get and it. And charging you to go get it, then bring it back, bring it then back. bring it back, then go back. Doesn't make sense. It doesn't even make sense. And, I mean, I want to use it faster. I can't, Yeah, and you know? it's so important. You save so much money knowing how to do it. That, and you gain so much knowledge. But... I was watching a video and it's like, if you want a tractor, you don't know these five things and you should get off your tractor. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel. I feel like because also when you're driving it, I was like the spa video, I was listening to it, right? And I was like, there's something not right right now. Yeah. So you're able to like pick up on these things so that way you don't injure it more by using it. Right. Because you know something's wrong, right? Yeah. My hair, yeah. I don't know if anyone knows that feeling, but when your hair touches like diesel and oil and grease and gravel, it's a dry and dirt. Totally. Every inch of my body you should be really dry, yeah. feels dirty and oily and just, you know, just got this you layer. You the wrench. It's, <laughs> it's got this layer. Thank gosh for this. These outfits on It's got this layer of grease. Okay. Shower time.
How good does that feel? So nice. Imagine having to work on your tractor and not having a shower. That used to be us, but our van girl. True. <laughs> So happy we just fought the rain and got out of the day and got that done. Hopefully tomorrow there's no more rain and we can finish up this job and get back to using our tractor. Your turn! Do you have oil filter wrenches in stock? Can't find mine. Morning pack. Everyone's on the job site today. Bella's hunting our feral cat that has been here for three weeks now. All right, we already jumped underneath the tractor, ready to install our two filters. Oh, I don't know. We'll have to go find that. Went to go look for our oil wrench, and guess where it is? In the van, which yep. is in storage. Yep, I'm still here. There's a local shop, not okay, too, sweet. too far I'm away. On and they have it in stock. That's what that means. Thanks. I'm on my way and we're gonna take you all with us because I could spend hours in that shop and I think all of you are gonna love the shop too. It's so fun in there. You wanna go for a car ride? Oh, she wants to go for a car ride. One dog, two dog. Oh. Anytime we get cabin fever, a family road trip like this is welcome. Amenities like this are few and far between, I tell ya. But I guess it's what you get when you live rural. More tractor supply stores than shopping malls. We called about a hydraulic fluid wrench, filter wrench. Just the oil filter wrench? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Just look at this place. It has everything you need for outdoor maintenance. They even have a cute shop dog for pats while you wait. This is Denver. He's the best. With a wrench in hand, we say farewell. <laughs> Give her the keys. Give her the keys. She's driving. Oh, Give her the keys. You're driving us. You're driving us, dog. You're driving us. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you smell Denver. Yeah, what the heck, mom? Were you cheating on me? A little bit. A little bit. All right, everyone. I'm driving us home. See you there. As soon as we take that filter off, it is going to gush, I think. So we need to have the spare one ready and learned a little trick to write the hours. One, nine, one, nine, zero. This is absolutely genius, writing on your filters, because you're bound to forget. And you're gonna look back at photos and footage, and let's say you didn't take any of those. <laughs> Most people don't. <laughs> Most people wouldn't. Then you're never gonna remember. I'm going under. Feeling confident? Yeah, I feel very confident with this wrench. Get it, Terry. We used to have something, who's Terry? I don't know, you just seem like a Terry right now. <laughs> Beautiful spin. Oh yeah. You got it already? Wow, tools, eh? Crystal did attempt to do this with her hands just to see if we could do it. Nearly impossible. Nearly impossible. It's out. It's out? Here's the old one. Do you need the new one? So what we've learned, I'm told to stick my finger in the hydraulic, the new hydraulic fluid, and lubricate it, just like so. There you go, mechanical. Take it off my street. Yeah, we're all the same, but we don't have to agree. What's next on this maintenance to-do list? But we literally can't move forward with any project until Clementine is fixed. Oh, is it like pouring out? Your suction filtered is now oiled up. Nice girl. Good job. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Jasmine, stop driving in the mud, girl. I think tractors are just dirty. You're just dirty. <laughs> Look at you and your sweater, your shirt right now. It's so up. Thank you. You're welcome. How's your back? Good. Really? Hey man, it's made for this. <laughs> <laughs> People are gonna be it. mad at you for that comment. Why? Because they're gonna tell you to take it easy, girl. My back is doing extremely well now. So, thank gosh for osteo. It was hurting three days ago. Yeah, but like only a little bit. Keep telling her in the comments to take it easy. Someone wrote a comment and you only have one spine, one back, and that's it. I try people, I try. Two filters down, hydraulic line down. What are we doing now? Are We're we gonna... skipping the other hydraulic line. Cause it's not punctured. And we have a spare. So that means everything is done. We just need to put the fluid back into the tractor. 
and then drive it around. The new fluid, drive it around. No, but you're supposed to. Do you want to also put the pin in, or what do you want to do? Yeah, we could do that right now. And then we're done our tractor maintenance, right? Well, then you get to do a dry ride. I also learned another trick. With permit marker, color on this end of the dipstick, because they give you a yellow dipstick when you're testing literally yellow fluid, hydraulic fluid, and no one, you can never see it. But how will that make you see it? I don't get it. It's black. Oh, <laughs> got it. That's what people do. Yeah, a yellow dipstick, that's dumb. So silly, like, come on, Kubota. Oh, it was literally yellow. Like, Co Kubota, what are you thinking? All right, Clementine, it's time to get you some new fluids. Is that slow and steady? A good yeah. thing, but a slow thing. I'm like, so slow down this long neck. Do you have another fun? Oh, this is stupid. This is silly. This tractor is guzzling up about 26 liters of oil. <laughs> so one of those full buckets, then the small black one that you saw in Jasmine's hand the first round. I hate this. However, I feel like this is a me thing. Yeah. Are you just like totally losing your patience and not holding it or what's going on? I, can, I don't have good aim, you do. Okay. I should have been on taking the filters off and you should have been on doing this. Mm. Every single time. Oil Here, just grab the camera. So it turns out putting all this oil in the tractor takes a long, long time. Uh, let me fast forward this vlog for you. Here we go. Have you ever wondered where you put your old oil after you're done your maintenance? Put it. In your new bucket. And you bring it back. Time to see if we actually did it or Is if we're gonna be doing tractor maintenance on a nice day. Moment of truth. Are we diesel tractor mechanics? Let's find out. Okay, so what we're looking for here, well, first of all, the tractor is nice and dry. It's no longer wet, so there's no rain to be, you don't have to worry about looking for drips of water. We are looking for hydraulic fluid leaks because we did a whole hydraulic fluid change. They watch the video. So there's multiple areas where we could potentially be leaking fluid. So we're gonna look under, around, over, under, the side, upside down, and everywhere around the truck. I've got nothing but trouble, baby. You've got nothing but time, so we got too hot speed. Well, everyone, there goes my darling Clementine. Oh, my darling Clementine! She's back in business. I'm so happy we took the time to learn how to maintenance our dear tractor. I love the tractor, and it feels really good to know how to do these things to be mechanically inclined and take the time to learn. Those two days, you know, we could have done absolutely anything else, but now we have that under our belt or whatever they say. We got the skills and we're going back to work. Show them next week. Summer, summer. We're moving into a Smurf house. I'm so excited. It's been such a long time coming. It is, is a laughing signing. joke. This was a hunt camp. They didn't give a shit. We're bringing it to life. The cabin's gonna be very, very blue. This is a day we've been dreaming of since we arrived here. It is going to change everything. Wait, 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 wait.